Just before Christmas, Hudley Hut Games sent Void Crew players an early gift in the form of a big update for the game. Ah, I'd forgotten the doors are a bit Star Wars-y, aren't they? Mm. Ah, and you can still see through yourself, okay. Yep. Disappointing. As I discussed in my first video on Void Crew, their roadmap describes this update as community first, and it turns out to be quite the Santa sack of quality of life improvements. But before we get into that, there's one quick correction to my last video. I complained about having to choose one role at a time to unlock skills for, but is all good pointed out in the comments that this button resets your skills for free so you can redo them each mission. The most obvious change is the reworked Void Jump and Astral Map. Well, it's it's oh, easier to navigate now, so... Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah. It's quite easy to navigate before, right? <laughs> well, they made the objectives more linear. Okay, but I like the non-linearity of them. But Void Jumping, are you ready, guys? Oh. Hey, Shit. I'm not uh, no. Uh, Did you yeah. get me, uh, I, I, I lost on. some health. Yeah, I so did that. Mike. I failed okay, to sit cool. down and yeah. That was not me trying to void jump, that was me trying to follow the new instructions which uh, seemed oh. to void jump you a bit oh. faster. Previously the jump would take a few moments and then drop you into the next objective. Now you choose to exit the void jump by pulling the lever again. This gives you as much time as you wish to recriminate over the last objective and spend your loot on ship systems. Uh, if somebody can come and press the button on this we can... Um... Okay. We can have a beam caster. Did you Not put the data card in the, the data slot? I did that when we got the data card. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can make my make a mod for my gun, actually. I already made um, a mod for your gun. Oh, yes. Well, you said that we, I could, there's two slots, right? Yeah, yeah well, you know, like, we're just because okay, we well, upgrade you, you doesn't mean you have well. to spend everything on mods. No, true. <laughs> but, like, but we I have mean... other things that can use mods. Or more likely to use the time. Uh. Going to quickly go to the toilet while we're waiting. Okay. Or oh, in your chair. Yeah. Fast not do it. Ooh, ooh, you can you can see stuff in the um in the astral map now. Uh yeah. Can I don't you pick know. a destination please in oh, the astral right, okay. map? Okay. Oh right, I see, yeah. Uh the ambush then, I suppose. Yeah, okay, the ambush. It's linear, you can see which one we're supposed we're to go to first. Locked. I, I would sit down if I were you because it was I'm gonna get out of the, right, the job. Yeah. We ended up testing, and it is still very possible to kill people if they're not seated when you jump in or out of the void jump. Please be seated. I'm ascending, indeed. Mm -hmm. well, it doesn't look like you're Mike. ascending. It looks uh, like you're descending. No, you killed oh, okay. just three what? of us. Sorry. One thing you can do with this time is use the system upgrader. This new pickup lets you upgrade any of the boxy ship systems, the ones that come in the loadout or that you build with Animus crates. It doesn't work on the systems built into the hull, like the stock life support or the engines. Can we, can we upgrade uh, whilst in flight? In the void jump? I think we probably can, yeah. It upgrades the chosen system from Mark 1 to Mark 2, which means you'll get to experience Mark 2 systems before you level up enough to build them yourself. Airlock open. Ah, well, now we have a Mark II Benediction Cannon. Nice. Nice. Don't hang around too long, as it's now possible to get interdicted from a Void Jump. This has a random chance to happen, getting more likely the more jumps you've done in the mission. Oh, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, oh. oh. oh um, we're getting interdicted. We're, yeah, yeah, we're getting interdicted. Oh, dear. Yeah. Sit down uh, and hold on. Ooh, it goes all red. You can't stop it pulling you out of the void tunnel, and you'll land in a space like this. Okay. Void oh, jump. Can we jump you out? Seek and destroy any active void we, I don't think we can jump out until we destroy the. Um, we can't set a void jump that... escape vector until they're gone. Pirates. Yeah, I've, I've put a gun on. The hollow will keep bolstering the interdiction pillar. Our window to act. Is part of the main pillar or what? I think the shield knows. We need to take the, the... shield out first. Yeah. I think. We are so dead, guys. 
These turret nodes are a threat, but to escape, you have to destroy the invulnerability nodes and then the interdiction pillar before you can void jump away. Okay, I think we should do pickups here. I think this is quite a good one pickups. Yeah. Let's do repairs. Or kill everything else and stay behind to repair and collect loot. There's no scorching pulses here and no reclaimer. The interdiction is great for getting repairs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love how the premise of it is, oh, we've been interdicted. It's super dangerous here. Let's get out as soon as we can. But actually, this is the safest place we've been the whole mission. <laughs> We experienced the Scorching Pulse mechanic for the first time. Ooh, Scorching Pulse. Scorching Pulse is about to happen. We're probably going to take damage from it. And I really don't think much of it. It raises the temperature of the ship to the point where it injures the crew. <laughs> oh, ow, jeez. Oh, ow, ow, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, That's the Scorching Pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah we need the, the life supports. Well, the life support isn't on, okay. The well, life support problem. isn't on unless somebody turned it on. Proximity mines approaching. Yeah, we, yeah, we need the life support quite urgently, I think. Oh, proximity mines but, Um. With the stock life support, you have to mash the enhancement mini game several times to cool the ship to a safe temperature, and you're being injured the whole time. I don't like this. It's just like you just take damage until you've like run the thing for long enough. You can also build a more powerful life support module, but only after you've picked up an Animus crate or enough alloys to make one. Either way, this event doesn't add interesting gameplay. It's just attacks on either power or player time and health, and I hope they redesign it soon. Uh, we have a bonus life support, I think. Yeah. Which should help us when we get... Yeah. Ooh. Void jump destination. Oh, interesting. Okay. It has a, it says, we, oh we, yeah, we, it has a freezy mode. If one enhance of the life support were enough to restore normal temperature, that could be a fun thing you have to respond to instead of a chore you have to stand over like it is now. You'll need to perform some repairs to gain access. According to the release notes, these enhancements have also been changed. Fluffing the minigame puts the system into a failure mode. However, the minigame is so easy that despite cranking these out back to back during scorching pulses, we didn't get to see the failure state once. Where is Dan? I'm at the life support oh, doing the yeah. enhancement on it like every okay. time it comes off cooldown. Because it only drops <clears throat> about 25 degrees each time I do it. The engineering skill tree gets two new skills, one to increase the effect of enhancements and another giving the ability to reset a failed system back to normal. For the festive season, Hudley Hut have added Christmas decorations in the hub station. Mistletoe! No, no. Mmm. Uh, no, just don't run away. We didn't have the life support on one. We didn't have the life uh, support on one. Like RCX. Rusty kissing ref. No, you didn't. I went near him and he ran away. I ran away. Just oh, okay. like RCX. I saw a rev rejecting Tufty. There is snow falling in here, so environmental mm, systems yeah. are uh, malfunctioning somewhat. Maybe it's deliberate. I mean, if you lived in a space station and you could make it continuously snow, but like not collect on the ground, wouldn't you? Would it change the temperature or would it just be an effect? Um, well, it doesn't seem to be killing us, unlike the actual places we go to. So I'm going to say it's probably just an effect. Fair enough. In which case, I'll stop bitching. There's a Santa themed optional objective that has a chance to appear in missions. One. So we need to take out the, the barges with the presence in, I believe. Our oh, onion barges. Pilot insists on jumping through the systems in barges. Madam's Dominion, broadcasting a message of holiday cheer and promising presents to any children that he might come across. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. don't actually have children. Most of them are ancient husks fused with the life support systems of their cockpits. I don't know how they feel. <laughs> Indeed, let's put the lunatic out of his misery. Madam wills it. He wants us to kill Santa. <laughs> well, Santa's going to jump away when we get close, apparently, according to the mission briefing. I am Charlie's yeah. in range. Yeah. Shall we open up? Yep. Yeah. Light in. Shoot when I can. You're too late. Reinforcements are upon us. Since when does Santa get reinforcements? Yeah. Elves. 
Ooh. Wow. Keep that power, power in the middle target. We're nearly going down, haven't we? Home integrity below 40%. Keep it going. Uh, our hull integrity is diving. Not good. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to boost way off this. I'm boosting. Oh god, what is he just he spawned then? He's dying, he's dying. Yeah, but look at the frigates. Yeah, but we have got our festive loose box, so you know. <laughs> oh, this, they've dropped so much loot. The gifts dropped by Santa also show off the new highlight they've added for loot in space, which makes it easier to see. Inanimate gift. This one has small holes in it and smells faintly of wooden shavings. Okay. Not wood shavings, wooden shavings. We found the Christmas decorations quite inspiring, but other than the loot highlighting, all of this may well be gone by the time you see this video. Sniper is sniping. I know, I know, I know. I'm dodging, I'm dodging, I'm dodging. It's like the 12 days of Christmas, this, isn't it? Yeah. Seven snipers sniping. One. Six oh, shields are uh, shielding. Yeah. Five cosmetics. Four whole junk loot crates. Three fighters. Answers based on the blood. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, they've made these circuit breakers a bit better somehow as well, supposedly. Mm -hmm. By making them change colour when they're overheating. The ship's power system is under strain, and one of the circuit breakers has malfunctioned. It's fine. There's one guy behind us still. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Yeah. I mean, one of the circuit breakers hasn't malfunctioned. Like, breaking the circuit perfect. during an <laughs> overload is its function. The release notes also have a list of fixed bugs. A few of these relate to objectives spawning in asteroids or debris spawning on top of objectives, making them impossible to complete. We did experience that before, and it's very frustrating to have your mission ruined that way. So let's hope they've all been fixed. Sticking to your release schedule is no mean feat, so it's a really good sign if Hudley Hook can continue to do this consistently and keep improving the game. That said, there's clearly still a lot of frustrations, both in the game balance and the occasional glitches. Oh, the, the jumping? Uh, is it just me or is the jumping more disturbing than before? I think it is. A, it's just a bit shit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. To enjoy an early access game, you really have to be willing to put up with things like that. If you can, Void Crew brings a lot of fun co-op gameplay despite the shortcomings. Is it? Oh, yeah, go, go, go. Early access is a long road, so let's look forward to the next update, which promises to add new objectives and loadouts, as well as addressing more feedback from the community. Keep them coming. Thanks, Tungrev, Mike, and Sirs for crewing with me again, and thank you for coming along for the ride. Incoming jump signature detected. This has been Void Crew Update 2, and I've been Tufty Indigo. Large jump signature detected. Toodle pip. The ship's power system has reached its limit, causing one of the circuit breakers to trip. 